Hi everyone! On this video we are going to learn about forces and their effects. Let's go! Well, first we need to know the definition. A force is a push or a pull on an object. We cannot see the force but we can see its effects. The effects of a force can make the object move, stop or change the shape, direction or speed. Like here we cannot see the force but we can see this object moving because she is pulling it. Well, we have two types of forces. We have contact forces like a slap and non-contact forces like Yoda. No, well, we have uh, gravity and magnetism as non-contact forces. Like I said, in the non-contact forces we have magnetism and gravity. Magnetism will have something to do with magnets that has a north pole and a south pole. And gravity is the force that attracts objects to each other. Let's begin with magnetism. Magnets can push or pull magnetic materials. They create an invisible area of magnetism all around it called a magnetic field. Everything. Every metal object in the magnetic field will be attracted by the magnet. The gravity. Gravity attracts objects towards each other. Gravity has been around since the very beginning of the universe. Large objects have stronger gravity than a smaller one. The Earth attracts every object in the planet towards its center. And the Sun, which is larger than the Earth, attracts every planet in the solar system towards its centers. For example, here we see an apple tree with uh, some apples, and when they fall, they fall down to the floor because of the gravity. If there were no gravity, they will stay in this position or they will go up, for example. And here, this woman, she's jumping and she's doing a backflip. And eventually she will land on the floor because of the gravity. Okay, let's move on now to contact forces. We have friction and buoyancy. Okay, now friction. Friction is the resistant force that occurs when two objects rub against each other. It always acts against the object in motion in the opposite direction. For example, here, this boy, he's uh, roller skating and the friction goes against him. So he's doing some force to go forward and the friction is stopping him a little bit. Friction depends on the type of materials that are in contact. For example, here uh, he's sliding down on the snow. There will be very little friction. The friction will be very low. Why? Because you can slide on the snow and also he has this sledge to go down. If he, if he were standing, there will be more friction. But with this object, he can slide down very easily. And the last one, buoyancy, is the ability of objects to float. It is an upward force that works against gravity. We already know gravity. This force depends on the density of the object and the fluid. We can see here a kayak is floating uh, on the sea and a small paper boat is also floating. What do we need to know? We need to know about density. Density will make an object float or sink on a fluid, but we have to look at the average density for that. If we see this big ship, this cruise, okay, for example, a big ship is made of steel, but it is empty at the bottom, filled with air so it can float. That is why he cannot exceed the maximum amount of weight on a boat. 
So, if you put a piece of metal of steel, it will sink, but the boat is made so it can float because it has air inside. Let's have a look at this picture. We have uh, the object here and the fluid, it could be water, and the gravity is pulling the object down and the buoyancy pulls the object up. Here we can see a flow chart of the forces that we have just learned. Just to remind you, a force is a push or a pull on an object. We cannot see the force, but we can see its effects. The effects of a force can make an object move, stop or change the same direction or speed. We have contact forces and non-contact forces. And in contact forces we have friction and buoyancy and non-contact forces we have gravity and magnetism. Okay, I hope you liked the video and you learned a lot about forces. Bye all!